five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Oh, yeah. A very, to be here. a very brief primal scream by Alex <laughs> right there. So good job. Is that how you sound at concerts? Yeah, more yeah. or less. All right. Do you come home like you can't speak the next day? Mm-hmm. Ah, awesome. Well, welcome back, everybody. Um, got a I'm, full house. Today. I'm Jose. Yeah, we sure got a full house. I'm, I'm Jose. You are? Hosby. Uh, I'm just here. I don't know. Unfortunately. <laughs> she got oh, four. Okay, <laughs> I'm here. Good to meet you. <laughs> mm-hmm. We had to bribe her. All right. Good to bribe go, me. Go too. around the horn. Come on, introduce yourselves. Just Wes. Nick. I mean, uh, Justin. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> and I'm Justin's friend. <laughs> what kind of friends, huh? And I'm Justin's other lover friend. <laughs> All right, so uh, how was your guys' week? Oh, it was great. Yeah? Yeah. What'd you do? Nothing. Did you get a day off? Uh, I get them every weekend. No, I mean, did you get a paid day off for the no. uh, Columbus Day celebration? No, for the murderous Italian when day? When it's time to conquer, it's time to conquer. At least that's how it works. Yeah, you know things. what? Uh, we had this conversation the other day with my friends and, like, Nobody currently occupying any land originally owned that land. So mm. how far back are we going to go? That's true because the house I live in was previously lived in by another family. Yeah, and you came and conquered them. That's conquered. right. <laughs> you cut their hands off. I came in. The, the Spanish uh, funded me. <laughs> yeah, that's how I did it. I mean, my mom did it. All <laughs> right. Mm. So what the hell have you guys been up to last week or so? Somebody. Oh, uh, man, it was, it was rough. It was rough. We did that uh, sober seven days of October, the first seven <laughs> days. Seven. All right, folks. So we, we were doing seven. sober October, and Justin has fallen off the wagon. No, 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 no. Officially. It's sober part of October month. Oh, the sober part of October. Sober part of October. Gotcha. Month, which happened to be seven days. So you're going to start? That was pretty. I feel like you're belittling my efforts, no, Mike. No, no. Are you going to start again tomorrow? No, no. We we did part of October. <laughs> so if you do have like 10 minutes in October, that's sufficient? Al didn't even make it seven minutes. I don't know why you're getting <laughs> on me. That is true. Al never agreed to participate. Yeah. So I told you I lost. As soon as we started, I lost. Yeah. Well, Nick, you're pretty much sober all the time. So you give up candy for October? No. no. Never. And then Wes, you're like, you mentioned like a one or a two day beer, dr- yeah. beer drinker. Yeah. So I, I didn't want to drink here, so I had a couple before I came. <laughs> <laughs> that means in the truck on the drive over. <laughs> yeah. Hey, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. You shotgunning them out in your who, park on who, your who am I to driveway. Judge? Who am I to judge? So, I so I'm judge. guessing by this tone that you're giving, Mike, you feel like you're better than everyone else. No, that's not, at not at all. picking that up. Yeah, I am too. So, so how was your week, Mike? I fell off the wagon too in my dreams. No, my week was great. My week was great. I got a lot of shit done. Freaking ran some more drainage. Got it nice and proper in the shop in my mom's backyard. And uh, figured out where I'm going to put the shop urinal. And I ordered a urinal. <laughs> Is okay. that the drainage uh, that you dug? I'll just over to that spot across the way? Yep. You're just going to drain right into the... It's going to go right into the drain. Yep, uh, exactly. Mm. That's so smart. Dude, because the wind always blasts from the west. And it, if I didn't have such pretentious neighbors over here, I would just walk around this side and... Use the building as take a, a dump. No, just take a piss. I, yeah, and then I'll just think about the shitting in a urinal. <laughs> you should just 
You just put hey, a it's toilet. Fine if you really want to, but you're the one who has to wash it just down. Just put a toilet in the shop with no walls around it at all. <laughs> and then when we're in there, you're like, oh, where's the bathroom? You're like, it's right there. Right there. It's just right there, the buddy. The middle. <laughs> Essentially, that's what it was going to be, was just a urinal attached to the wall. And then Tanya's like, well, maybe you want to put some walls on a door on it. I'm like, well, the A-frame already acts as one wall. And then... I could put a wall on the other side, but my back is a door. And then a buddy came over and like, just get a like a curved shower curtain rod, and then that way you can pull a shower curtain on you if there's women in the shop that don't want to see you taking a piss. Make sure the shower curtain's clear. Why can't you just walk back to the house? <laughs> I mean, it's not that far away. <laughs> yeah, well, when it's freaking blowing snow, it's far. I don't want to do that shit. Yeah, when Mike's pissed off the wife and she's told him to go sleep in the goddamn garage out back, I he's not coming back in the house. He's too I proud. Would, I have yet to be kicked out there yet, but I almost did a couple weeks back when I was drunk. I'm like, fuck, it's already 5 in the morning. I may as well just, my cot's set up out there and everything. May as well just sleep out. I didn't. I came back to the house. Whatever. You pussy. Yeah, I am. So then, yesterday, I went down a rabbit hole. But So the clutch, for my clutch fan or fan clutch or whatever on my dart was going bad. And a friend of mine donated one that he couldn't return. So first time in forever, this whole assembly I took off a Chrysler 300 like freaking eight years ago or something. And I just bolted it onto my engine. Well, I'm like, I wonder if these fan bit blades will polish up. Like, son of a bitch, these fan blades are actually chrome underneath. So, spent all day polishing that bitch up. So, like, holy shit, another shiny part to a freaking engine that doesn't go fast at all. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> That's about how my weekend went. <laughs> That's about how my weekend went. Come on. All right. Go. Are you fucking interrupting me with that? That was classic. So (laughs) you guys are going to have to watch one of the earlier podcasts to understand where that came from. Um, Or one of the more recent upload shorts. So anyway, um, what have you guys been up to? Want to talk about Lost Friends or no? You're kind of anxious. Lost Friend Brewery? Um, yeah, there was a Fall Fest on Sunday. It was cool. I mean, I brought Irish. She got attention. There's too many people for me, though. So for those of you who don't know, I, Ira or Iris? Iris. Iris is 120 pounds. Chihuahua. 120-pound <laughs> chihuahua. It's very fat. Mm-hmm. It's really just this ball of dog with, like, legs sticking out. Yeah, I just call her roll, kind of roll her around, you know. <laughs> no, she's a great Pyrenees. So, very docile. At least her personality is. <laughs> but anyway. She drinks too much, though. Well, you got to have a designated driver, right? So yeah. When you go out to Lost Friend, because the beer is so good. It goes down there, so easy, especially the beer garitas or the, whatever. The, the, the slush. The slush. There, there was a caramel apple slushy. Wow. Which was man. fucking awesome. So, there you go. Um and to lost lost friend or lost friends is it plural i think think it's just lost friend lost friend we are looking for sponsors so since we just plugged you we're gonna be (laughs) expecting that check here soon i I tried they saw the podcast (laughs) they're like no fuck that no i did get a review on our podcast by a well let's say my sister's boyfriend who said it's boring Uh and i'm like yeah the longer format ones are it's supposed to be well, it's supposed to be. So how did this start? Your, how, how did this podcast start? Your sister's boyfriend. Wait a minute. Don't go on to that yet. Your sister's boyfriend is a bitch. I'm just going to put that out there right now. <laughs> you hear that, Greg? Come here and get some boring, he motherfucker. Says, he says you're a bitch. I'll I'll so when you you're boring. out here, you got to be on the Yeah. Show. Fucking show you boring. Mono e mono right on the podcast. Where's your podcast? We'll see where- <laughs> Where's your podcast, huh? No, Greg. Greg would actually be pretty fun to be on here. <laughs> He's, he's he drinks? He's a, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, he likes drink, and uh, he's just one of the just real witty motherfuckers. So, kind of smart ass. All right. But about half of Justin's weight. So, so yeah, I mean, I guess because... Oh, he's a pussy then. 
So when we get rid of Justin, we're going to have him fill in. Sure. Okay. Absolutely. Hey, Greg, is it Greg? Greg. Yeah. Greg, just don't bring your wife because you know. Well, <laughs> my sister. Not, I know. I wasn't saying you were going to hook up with her. That already happened. That's over now. <laughs> this is new. <laughs> Oh, for shit's sake. You were young once. Wes, it's okay. please say you have a story, Wes. Uh, I, I, I've got nothing. Oh, shit. I've got nothing. You don't want to spend the next well, there you go, Greg. 50 you minutes open, talking about your sister, you Mike? You have an open invitation to the podcast, Greg, next time you're in town. Bring drinks. Nice. Oh, he will. If you say that, he probably will. Probably bring I, a couple, I don't drink a couple bottles of whiskey or something. Because I'm driving. I don't like drinking and driving. What about this one? Yeah, she's... What? She don't drive. Well, she she don't drink either. Well, she does. Damn, what do you do? Where's Iris? She does drink. You got to do one. Why didn't you bring Iris? <laughs> if you drink, don't talk. If you talk, don't drink. He's at AA. <sighs> She's at AA. She couldn't come. <laughs> Iris is in <laughs> dog, doggy AA? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, we're, we're going to try. We're actually going to try something different here. You got um, trivia? No. <laughs> No, we are going to just do whatever Greg asks us to do. That way it's not as boring. Greg, put in the comments below what you want us to do on the podcast. Yeah, we'll wait. He'll probably come up with brilliant ideas instead of this long, drawn-out bullshit that we do every fucking week. Go ahead. We're waiting right now. Dude, this isn't live. Tick -tock, oh. Tick -tock, tick -tock. I mean, we. it's not This is going to be a really boring next many, 30 minutes. How many subscribers do you have to, to be YouTube live? A thousand. A thousand? Well, we have a million. It's just they shadow banned us, so it look, appears like we only got. We're 50. only nine hundred and forty-eight away. Yeah, they did, they did shadow ban us. It's like nothing to Mister Beast. We've been shadow banned. We Remember actually. Ever since Joe Rogan said this was his favorite podcast, they shadow banned us. Yeah, I know. So. Shut us right down. So now it appears we only have like 52, 53 <laughs> subscribers. That's bullshit. It's YouTube. Just be in YouTube. So they don't like the things we got to say. So where are you gonna? Ellie is actually hosting this. That's yeah, why she's talking so much. She's, she's actually going to host this. Yeah, quit oh, talking so much, I thought, I thought she was competing with Nick. <laughs> All right, I'll shut up now, Allie. Go ahead and take her away. <laughs> well, you're, you're the ones that's supposed to ask the questions. Uh, oh, yeah. So, what? I mean, you got some topics? Yeah, or? do you have topics? Let me pull it up. Oh, someone did their homework. That's why it's boring. <laughs> I could read this uh, Babylon B article. Uh, no, please don't. <laughs> I think we should discuss those articles like they're real. Zelensky asks if this is a bad time to maybe get a couple more billion. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that one. Saw that. <laughs> Let me hold 20. 20 billion. Let me hold it. <laughs> I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. They are crafty ones over at Babylon B, that's for sure. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Ali. Well, I'll I mean, fucking interrupt it. <laughs> Since it's like um, October, which is like Halloween. Uh huh. Um, October first, I went to a haunted house with my friend um, up in Denver, thirteenth floor haunted house. What? Yeah. Oh, were there any Germans there threatening to stab people in the eye with a cigarette by the? By no, chance? unfortunately oh. not. Okay. Well, I only know it that happened situation once. happened once. Yeah, it has happened before. You, go ahead, go <laughs> ahead, Ali, and then we'll have Nick tell the story. <laughs> Um, <laughs> well, anyways, leading, I don't, I don't know how to speak. Anyways, I said that because I was going to ask a question like, do you guys like any scary movies or haunted houses or is that just not your thing? So go ahead. I want to go this year. Actually, I'm going to try to get my youngest to go with me to some haunted houses because I love that stuff. I don't know. How was the 13th floor? It was good. Um, I had my earbuds in the whole time because i just don't like loud noises so i couldn't hear when like people were coming behind me so uh, i just turned around and i worse? like basically shit myself <laughs> and i kept hit i kept hitting my friend she was in front of me so she got really mad and she was like cut that out but i didn't know what she was talking about so i just went like that friends don't hit friends. So you just punched her in the face <laughs> <laughs> no i just kept Get, smacking her back, back and she got really mad because you're like go 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 <laughs> yeah to get through the thing gotcha what, what was that you said, Wes? I didn't catch that. Well, she had the headphones <laughs> in. I was like, would that make it worse? Oh, yeah. <laughs> to not I hear somebody coming up behind it you. Was, it was kind of funny because um, I just chose like a random playlist I had. 
so it went from like metal and then my friend added this really stupid song called <laughs> monkey mania it's basically just monkey sounds with like an electro beat <laughs> <laughs> So it's really stupid when like people would be chasing me and then all I hear is ah, ah, in my ear. So, you know, Damn. that's similar to our theme song it that we're like going I got, for. I got new workout music when I returned to the gym in yeah, a couple of years. It's pretty good, you know. So, Nick, tell us about that experience that we I just brought up. <laughs> well, Your beloved a, wife a back when you were dating. A friend we were, of a friend. Yeah, we were just dating. Uh, she was a smoker. And uh, your wife was she was at the time, yeah. And uh, Mm. we're at this haunted house standing in line outside, I think, because she was smoking. Some kid a little bit forward of the line (laughs) standing in the the front up there. The smoke was blowing their way. She he said something about the smoke and he was talking about it. And she was just she's uh, short tempered, (laughs) she's she's German, more so back then, yeah. Vocal. And she said something about uh, better shut up or I'll fucking put it out in your eyeball or something. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that's what she, I don't remember the exact. Is that the moment you knew you loved her, Nick? <laughs> it made me laugh. Say, anyway. say it with the accent. <laughs> <laughs> say it with the accent. You have to say it with the accent. Uh, you gotta say it like this. I just want to say it whenever I want. <laughs> Put it out of your eyeball. You guys make stuff weird. Um, <laughs> all right, well, going back to scary movies, things like that, I did watch a movie, in, in the, I guess, in the... Was it a home movie, Mike? Those are scary. No, it was called Life After Beth. I don't know if you've seen it, Midwest, maybe you've seen nah, this. not that one. It, it's along the lines of that dark humor, horror, kind of like Cocaine Bear. But I would say, is this one of those where you, you question if, you know, like you realize you're not going to get that time back? But was it entertaining? Yeah. I mean, it was, it was entertaining, but it was dumb. So if you like stupid horror movies along the lines of, say, Cocaine Bear, <laughs> go ahead and watch it. But anyway, Life After Beth. So, I, I watched, I a, I watched a movie this weekend. Hmm? Finished watching. I'll have to watch that. Yeah. It's, I wouldn't recommend this movie, but it's it was about worth, the zombie apocalypse, worth watching. Yeah. Mm, it guess. was. Do we know someone? Uh, no, but it was about a uh, uh, t- test experiment. Uh, the lady in it was an experiment, like a sort of mutantized, and her brother and her brother gets killed, and they go on searching for. Yeah, it was called uh, Serona. We do know someone. Oh, we do. Yeah. Did you watch? Uh, did you watch it to the end? Did you finish? I it? did. I started watching it a couple weeks ago, and I was drinking and fell asleep because <laughs> it was like eleven thirty at night when I started, and then I finally watched it the other night. The rest of it, you're like, wait, I got to wrap my head around the plot of the first half of this and digest it before I can go to the second half. Uh, really, really I uh, I don't I don't want to down the movie because it was for what it was, it was okay, but I felt like. The plot could have been way better had bees. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like there was bees. In there. Bees and zombies, or tornadoes and sharks. I don't know, but <laughs> the main character could have been more. Could have killed some more, or something like that. It's like there could have been more bloodshed. Yeah, there could have been on the part of. The character, like, there was a danger to this person. It didn't feel like in the movie there was a danger to this person. Like, they're pursuing her, but... Now, have we turned Wes on to either this movie or Tsunami? I don't think so. I was actually looking at our uh, previous... Wes uh, is a great movie critic. There's Usually actually, when he says something's good, it's good. If he says it sucks, Oh, he'll say it probably sucks. sucks. But here's the thing. I was looking at uh, Charlie's movie credits, and I was actually surprised to see how many movies he's... Even if it's bit tiny... You know, a second of the film, but he was in. Only a second? Well, I don't know. I haven't watched these other ones, but uh, there was a couple that are were mainstream. Lone Ranger? Oh, yeah. Like Lone yep, Ranger. Yeah, Lone Ranger. Yep. Did you see I think him he in played that? Uh, you... Silver in that one. <laughs> I don't think he played Silver. No? Oh. 
I thought with the accent. Japanese rail. I thought with the accent he would play silver. Asian railroad worker. Asian Asian railroad worker. I can't even say that fast. Chinese railroad worker. Yeah. I just leave it at Asian. <laughs> um, and he was kind of a dick in this movie, uh, uh, so kind of just played himself. Were they like interrupting him <laughs> as he's trying to do his line? They did a few times, like he would be saying, then he would cut him off. But he was, nah, I mean, did he, he had, say it was? He funny had a couple afterwards? of spots where I was impressed, like he had some side eye looks when they would say something and little things like that. Like, I mean, he's not winning any awards, obviously. Yeah, but he's, he's my Asian. Heart. Like all Asians, he might have, get like a salon selective commercial. They can do that side eye thing when they open their eyes really wide. You're like, oh, I just pissed off an Asian person. <laughs> like, you know, watch out. Sensitive to that shit, Mike. <laughs> what? You're Hawaiian, dude. I didn't say anything about <laughs> Asian <Hawaiian>. Island Pacific. <laughs> okay, we did lump us okay. all in that one. All right, dude. Don't take Bra. off your shoe, please. Bra. <laughs> Lose money. <laughs> <laughs> Shoots, bra. Just keep your shoe on. Um. <laughs> anyway. Well, we, we, we. so number which one? Which one would you rate better, Serona or Tsunami? <sighs> Having I, Serona, I would put Serona ahead of that one. Would you? I never. I don't think I ever watched the end of of Tsunami. I oh, that's why, so dude. You missed that's the twist. The, yeah. I, well, okay, I'll put it this way: I watched the end, but I missed some parts in the middle where I was falling asleep. I guess which so lead I up to the twist? Connect it. And I couldn't get into where Charlie was playing the hillbilly in that one, wasn't he? <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure he wasn't. <laughs> oh, no? He wasn't playing uh, the hick? So you, you got just like a broken storyline then. So, yes, the movie, Mike. I got the movie. <laughs> Tsunami. <laughs> Those were wasps, by the way. Yes, but the movie's called Tsunami. I know. <sighs> God. I know. Awesome. You know, Charlie was in it. I thought it was about a spelling bee. <laughs> thought it was going to be like some inspirational story. Couch. Cow. C. K. O. R. Are you going to the. <laughs> does, does he watch these? Is he going to be mad? I don't know. Is he going to come on and yell at me? Hopefully, maybe I want to see that. Yeah, hey, I would like to get Charlie back on here. We should. You guys He's should open. actually. You He's know what? To it. The fact that I'm criticizing the movie slightly, even though and it has low budget, whatever. I I liked watching it. I've seen worse movies, but at least I supported. Like him. Life After Beth. <laughs> at least I supported him. What can you guys say? Hey, I I was busy. I only had time for Life After Beth. Look, we all gotta watch different movies so we can bring the ratings to the podcast. Yeah. So okay, let's 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 back it up a bit here. Back it let's, up. Let's go back. So, thirteenth floor. How does that stack up against Hellscream? What is better, or they both suck, or what? I think maybe Hellscream is better. Um, I mean, the last time I was there, I think it was like two years ago, but I liked how they had like different floors. That you could um, oh, yeah, yeah. go up the stairs to, and it was like differently themed and everything. Remember how terrified you were the first haunted house? What is 13? Yeah, floor and it was like freaking Ghoul's Gulch, and I was just losing my mind. What is 13 floor for those who don't know? Um, It's kind of like House Scream, it's like a permanent haunted house, so they can keep adding stuff. That was to up it. in Denver. Um, I will say it seems like they have more space than House Scream to do stuff. They have really cool animatronics there. Like, they're massive, too. Like the Chuck E. Cheese ones from back in the day or the Showbiz Pizza ones? <laughs> so is it open year-round? Is that the whole idea with this? I don't think so, but they have, like, pretty much all year to work on it. It's like permanent. Like, like Hell Screams permanent. Right? Mm-hmm. Is there... So, I mean, they're both really well done and, like, well um, executed, but... I say I prefer Hell Scream more. Hell Scream. So next year will be 14th floor. Who I knows? Keep, keep <laughs> adding on to it. I think we need to go to a haunted house and just film well, the that was getting the plan there last and going. Year. What happened to that plan? Yeah. Are we allowed what? to film walking through these? I things? don't think I allowed think so. to film inside, but we could go. That's gay. To the up to the far front part, and then we can do it. But I think uh, pants full of shit. I I I, I honestly think there's a guys going to. <laughs> 
haunted house. <laughs> that you know what that means that you are scared. That's what that means. You're like, oh, I don't go to those because those are boring. Yeah, I just want to eat like a bunch of burritos and shit. Like, say eight hours beforehand, yeah. maybe twelve hours beforehand. That's scary. Then I'll shit my pants right there in the haunted house. <laughs> I can't really get mad at you. No, I, I like the decor. Like, I you mean, scared the shit out of me, literally. <laughs> I, I like how they're set up, the decor and all that. I think it's cool, but jump scares don't really get. Ah! Jump scares. <laughs> those are better. Dude, I actually Those jump. are better. <laughs> they don't. They don't get me. like jump. I don't know. Oh, what if they had someone dressed up like Carol jumping out of you? <laughs> 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 Just to see her walking towards me is scary enough. <laughs> fix the garage door off? <laughs> no, that's why it's so damn scary. <laughs> no, I, got, I didn't have to this week. He's got to fix it so he has something to break. Next you know what's weird? He, he fixes it every week, but every night after the podcast, after downing all those drinks that he brings. Yeah. All those uh, bubblies or whatever. Yeah. Flavored water. I just have agua. Those N.A. seltzers? I just have water that smells like vodka. <laughs> See, it looks like water. Let's go down, Nolly. You guys like okay? Let's let's start that then. Haunted houses. What's that? Down the haunted houses. You got? Do you like them? I haven't been to one in forever, dude. So yeah, but I'm I'm down. Maybe we could do a field trip. Let's you, do it. Well, I know uh, during Ali. work hours. <laughs> Are you liable if you freaking react by punching somebody? Do you guys uh, see this? Wes can't. looks scared just talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> You, you, like, they, you can't touch is. them. They, they can't touch you. Spirit. You can't touch them. You, you'll get uh, kicked out. Can you out punch your friend? Uh, I mean, as, I did. As much as you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and all she thought that she was saying was like, she thought she heard, these guys are hot. And she was like. She probably did say that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she kept telling the scare actors that she loves them. I don't know why. They come on, she'd be like, I love you. That's what sounds like she does when her dad hits her. So it seems like a <laughs> oh, normal oh. a normal reaction for her. Oh, like That's a little touchy subject there. <laughs> I don't know the friend. It could be random friend number one. Yeah. We don't know who But it's just a normal about. reaction for somebody in that situation. Sometimes in a high stress situation. I mean I've almost punched Tanya out a couple times, so she'll she's here's the thing. She's 130 pounds. Oh, she's a good foot, matchup for you then. Five foot four, walks around the house like boom, 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 boom. You can hear it wherever she's at. I can always hear her coming. Middle of the night, quiet as a ghost. So I'll go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, take a piss, and then I'm walking out. And here she is just freaking walking right toward me. As soon as I turn the corner, I'm like, what the? F-? And I just, she's freaked me out a few times. I'm like, make some freaking noise or something. So you, so I know you're coming. She's trying I'm to catch sorry. you texting that other girl. Why would she make some noise? You gotta put like oh, a no. bell on Trust her. Trust me, I can't handle any more girls. Huh? Put a bell on her. I should. Hey, I'm telling. Like you. a cowbell. It's happened. Every time. Kang, kang. Every time I'll, she I'll walks. yell. I'll yell in her face. I'll just be like, Rah! It's like, like wind up. Like I'm gonna punch my. Wife. You blow your rape whistle. <laughs> 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 Well, what can I say? I mean, it's not difficult to startle me. I mean, shit. I think even when we work together, people have gotten me before. So, remember, there was one worker there. <laughs> she like, she's a, she's kind of annoying, and then she like said something like loud, like, "Hey guys, like, scared the shit out." <laughs> and she just turned out and said, "Shut up, bitch." <laughs> <laughs> Is this Annie? Are you talking about Annie? No. Uh, she, she doesn't work there anymore. Though. Annie's not loud. Yeah. She's still alive? Yep. Annie? As far as, yeah, <laughs> no, she not Annie. The person. As far as I know. Uh, as far as I know. Yeah. Well, that narrows it down quite a bit, actually. Who, I, I'm not sure who we're talking about. but. Uh, you do. Was she on our team? Like, let's narrow this down here, Al. Okay. So. Banger. We're, 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 Is that what cut it down to about no. half the girls there? 
I, I would have to say no. Does she have dark hair? She was married. Yeah, I That's know who it is. You wouldn't. Um, I'm not going to say this name. She was loud. She was obnoxious. Yo, I'll text it to you. Somebody on B. Yeah, that I was just loud. texted to you. Yes, and, and she doesn't work there anymore. <laughs> oh, well, then I'm totally wrong. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Well, text me. I'll text me the freaking name and I'll be like, oh, yeah. You guys at uh, home still don't know who we're talking Second about. Second letter in the alphabet. Oh, then I'm, yep. It's not who I thought it was. Oh. Really? Yeah. She's in. She doesn't Oregon? live. Yeah. That's who I thought it was. I know who you thought it was. Oh, yeah. Well, no. She's still there. Brenda. No. Uh, Wrong. I forget Brand- what her name is, but. Brandy. Brandy. Wrong. Braylon. That, I'll just tell you off. Becca. Give me her first name. What the fuck? I'll just tell you off, off screen. What? I don't so I do her name. All right. Wait, never mind. Which, you know what? what? We've hung on this topic long enough. Which we'll alphabet? The next. next. Haunted what? houses. Yes, no. Which alphabet? Yes. I, I liked them when I was a kid. Yeah. And I regret maybe not taking my kids more to that stuff when they were younger. They live but in one. now I think they're to the point where <laughs> they're on old enough for dates. You know, so I think they're in that age group now that where they can go out on their own they're and probably, yeah. enjoy it. Right, you know, they don't want that without there. the parents, yeah. you know. But no, when I was a kid, we grew up in a very, very small town. So it was like the little town haunted house. But no, I, I, I liked them. I, I thought they were a lot of fun. Yeah, you're like, knew everybody who was yes. working there. You're yeah, like, exactly. Get the fuck out of here, Brett. I'll it was kick like, your ass. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's like, damn it, Fred. <laughs> Fred, your gold got loose. <laughs> so, but I think that made it funner too. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, so. That's pretty cool. What about you? Oh, no, everyone's into it. Like, on oh, yeah, it's cool. I, like I haven't been for years since my wife put a cigarette out in the one kid. <laughs> <laughs> You're not invited band. back. You're banned. <laughs> she should have got a job banned there. From all <laughs> houses after that. She should have got a job there. She would have got paid. <laughs> and you, did you answer? Did you say you like them, right? Uh, I want to go. I'm ready. Let's I want to go. Here. Let's go right now. <laughs> Should do it like on a Sunday night. All right, night. follow us, guys. Come on. Nah. Get the, like a Sunday night. It's, it's probably going to be the last crowd. To clarify, Nick thought you said haunted hoes. <laughs> <laughs> and he was down. Well, speaking of, I grew up in like a supposedly haunted house. Oh, yeah, because your uh, sister's had that threesome going on with that ghost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something they told like us that. about that. <laughs> <laughs> Is it okay that both of us team up on this ghost? And your other sister's like, yeah, it's totally okay. It's a ghost. <laughs> Is going to double team this guy? Yep. It's horrible. Bruh. <laughs> your sister's... If your sisters watch this, they sure as hell don't watch. Uh, yeah. My favorite part is the it, part where so. Mike got weird when I mentioned his sister, and then he's going in on <laughs> yours. Let's talk about your sister, Justine. I don't have any. <laughs> but I think my brother would take you on if you wanted to. <laughs> What's his name? Which one? The older one or the younger one? The younger one will take you on. You didn't specify how many you had, so what are their names? They watch this podcast. No, he's, can't. no, no. no he's <laughs> Now, my okay. older one is Jason. My younger one is Anthony. We call him Tony. Ah, uh, okay. And Tony will fuck you raw. That's all I know. <laughs> Does he do that to every dude he meets? Or? Uh, including me. <laughs> Pretty big. Big dude. No, he's Pretty not a big dude. But spicy. Nah, but we, uh, down. we we grew up joking around like that. Like, even to this day, if we're out in the right circumstances fucking around and to fuck with people around us, this is going to sound stupid, but... Like, we'll just grab each other's shit. Like, hey, brother, like, just fucking stupid, you know, stupid. <laughs> I think that shit brothers do. Like, <laughs> yeah. my brother and I will go into a public bathroom and then just, like, take urinals next to each other and be like, oh, hey, man, nice dick. <laughs> yeah, we do stuff <laughs> like that all the time. People walk in. Be in the bar, oh, grabbing oh, each other's oh. asses. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so. Nick anyway. never wished he had a brother so bad. He's like, oh. No, Nick's got a sister. Yeah, we. I mean, we grew up. We grew up like best friends. So, uh, we had all the same friends growing up, pretty much. I mean, give or take, because he was a year younger. But, yeah, we do. Yeah, my brother and I have pretty much the same friends. Even on the phone, we talk dirty to each other. What are you doing? Oh, you later if you want to come. You know, just it's not even anybody around. It's just us, just fucking bullshitting. 
talk about sleeping with each other's wives and you know all that good stuff. <laughs> the good stuff. Uh, yeah, oh it's similar with my brother. Similar, but we don't even call each other by our names anymore. So it's just like, Jesus. hey, what's going on, honky lips? Like, <laughs> hey, not much. Just we face. we use pretty much every racial slur. On each other, we are not talking about other people, but we, every, everything's fair game. Oh, what's so. an example of that, Mike? <laughs> what up? Uh, well, so. okay. Hey, that was no hard R. <laughs> Where's that button at? Now the shout. Oh my God. He'll All bleep right. it out later. No, he won't. Right. We're done. He's trying to get We're us canceled. Done. He's tired of coming here. We're done. All right, thank, thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, my God. Did you really cut all the oh mics? Oh, my gosh. You didn't cut our mics, did you? Oh. Damn it. It's empty. Oh, anyway. I all right, Nick, do you have any stories? You're kind of no. going around the horn here. Justine? What the? F <laughs> you never have any stories. Next time. I don't have any silly stories. All my stuff's too political, and I don't feel like getting into it right now. So I just one uh, from last week. I didn't find any good ones this week, but this one, did you guys see this story about the, uh, here's the headline, chess grandmaster Hans Niemann categorically denies using vibrating sex toys to cheat in the sport. I heard that. What? How do you? How That's an old that? story. Is it really that old? It's old. Well, then fine. <laughs> Well, All right, Al, what do we got? Because he's not it's down to you. He's really not that great of a chess player, but supposedly he, he, he won. So everyone's like, he just, won, just sus. Yeah. He was uh, apparently he was using like someone else was won. vibrating his yeah. dingling whenever to make a certain type of move yeah, or. Oh, I thought it'd be like more like pawn. That's not a pawn. <laughs> no, it was, it was yeah. one of them remote. Yeah, suction cup dildo, dildo and he was slapping it on the table like, <laughs> like, look here, dick. <laughs> Sorry. He was yeah. waving it over here, and the guy was looking over there while he's moving shit around <laughs> on the board, or what? There's nice jumps the queen. I'm Bishop trying to understand the queen. what he meant by use sex toys. Everybody jumps the queen. <laughs> Gang bang. <laughs> What movie is that? Ah, uh, good old Mel Brooks. <laughs> so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> anyway, now you're bringing back a whole. So bunch of yeah. Scenes, anyway, it, I'm gonna admit right now that the only reason I do as well as I do on this podcast is because I'm doing something similar. Good to sex know. toys. Well, you have a remote? yeah. I have a giant dildo up my ass during every episode. That's why you keep looking at your phone. <laughs> so every joke you crack on there. That's why you keep making me push a button every time you crack a joke. You think no, Al's checking his vibrate. phone? You think Al's checking his phone for text messages? No, he's hitting the uh, vibrate button on my sex toy. Good job. Tell another one if you want more where that came from. <laughs> All right. Where's your phone at, Al? Yeah, tell it's us the story. No wonder this for podcasts has sucked. Sorry, Greg. <laughs> we let you down on this one. <laughs> You guys didn't show up at the production meeting. Greg will, uh, Greg will come up with good ideas. He should comment below. probably be all the ideas I suggested before, but you guys are just like, nah. In fact, yeah. I think he should comment below so I know which one is him so we can ban him from the podcast. If, if, if Greg brings it up, I, I'm, I'm sure it's brilliant. Brilliant! You're just like my wife. Like, no, what you need to do is this. No, what you need to do is this. To fix it, hon, what you got to do is you got to do this. She'd be like, you know, I was talking to so and so's husband, and they said what I need to do. They're like, that's what I fucking told you to do, like eight times. That's how all wives are. So I've just grown to accept it. Your wife has reason. <laughs> Everyone's like, my <laughs> wife might be watching. I can't relate. I don't Look, have. I'm just. I'm just saying what you. I don't thinking. have a wife. So, well, you have had a wife before, so you know what I'm talking. about. Yeah, but now she's fucking someone else. <laughs> so, so she comes to you for advice, Justin. Yeah. She used to. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh shit. Anyway, any more right. topics? 
No, we're going to have to pause this and uh, look some up. So go ahead. No, you, got, you got something. Well, oh, you s- the, you the nationwide. Uh, oh, so you know that nationwide alarm thing that went off on everyone's phone? <sighs> yeah, two minutes early. So apparently in some Amish communities, um, some Amish people oh. got shunned because, you know, they're not supposed to have phones and theirs went off, so... It got busted. Ah, so that wasn't to uh, activate the um, the zombie the, the zombie thing the through virus. the through the vet, through the C one nine or VAC. It's just to weed out this some was, Amish people. This was to weed out Amish people. Yeah, yeah like yeah, how people. true are you being to the faith? We're gonna find out right now. Got it. people, those troublemakers. Yeah, but how are you supposed to a- answer those Craigslist ads for more Amish residents if you don't have some kind of I don't know. I don't know how it works. Or do Tinder for Amish. So did they did they kick them out of the club then, or what happened? They just got shunned. That's all I know. How are you going to r- run your vibrating sex toys if you don't have a phone? What does shun mean? Like, you can't borrow my carriage anymore. Like, what? what is it? I don't know. Get don't shunned, get I guess. To. You ever, <laughs> you ever watch that movie Sex Drive? They don't, uh, they're not invited to the bar. No more reason. bundling for you and whoever. You ever watch Sex Drive? No. Yeah. What? That's a good movie. You never watched it? He no. ends up in that Amish community? Seth Green ends up in the... Uh, no, yeah, why would I watch a stupid-ass movie like that? Oh, I've seen uh, Kingpin. Kingpin. <laughs> 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 I think Sex Drive is part two of that. I want to be there when the shit storm comes. We do 100. <laughs> yeah, it's coming. I can smell it. Yep, I milked the cow. <laughs> You know, it was kind of stubborn at first, but as soon as it got going, <laughs> we don't have a cow, we have a bull. <laughs> He's there with the milk mustache. Mm. I'm going to go brush my teeth. Go, 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 go. Oh, jeez. Good grief. Gawk, gawk, motherfucker. All right. Uh, Let's just end it. Yeah. We can just end it. And then let's spend the extra time That's a good idea. having a quick production meeting, coming up with something that sounds good. Well, Greg. So Greg isn't pissed off for two shows. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. we got to up, We gotta upload this one as quick as possible to get um, Greg's ideas. Uh, so. Can you call him? Can we just call him? We can. <laughs> can you call? You should call him. You think he'd object to being on here? We Maybe play sound. the outro music and then we'll call him that way in case we, he doesn't con- uh, consent. We've already ended it. <laughs> huh? All right, what's his number? Six, nine. It'd be better if... <laughs> 50, 50. There you go, see? <laughs> you fucking can't forget my number. No, I can't. I just <laughs> said it. That out well, you got a bike. You got a bike. Hey, <laughs> nobody would have known if you didn't say anything. That cheated. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. No violence. <laughs> that cadence there with that that fucking phone number. It's funny as hell. It well, we works. gotta you gotta blank that out. So you're gonna have to believe. There's a lot of censoring now. He doesn't even pay attention Did, when you he's know doing how many this. Psycho women are chasing this guy down right now? Probably still. This could be true. Be like, well, we want revenge. I could get a seven one nine number. It's okay. Yeah, why don't you? <laughs> Why would you get one in Colorado Springs, dude? It doesn't we're in the matter middle, anymore. We're in the middle of Wisconsin right now. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It don't matter because you still got to call 719 now because of the damn suicide prevention hotline. <laughs> damn that thing. <laughs> <laughs> those bastards. <laughs> wow. <laughs> those fucking pussies. <laughs> now I got to dial three extra numbers <laughs> when I call within my own area. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! You know what makes me want to kill myself? Dialing three to? extra numbers makes me want to kill myself. <laughs> what the hell's the world coming to, Justin? I don't know. I don't God, I'm like seven one. Oh fuck it! You guys just wait. You just go ahead and wait until Justin and I are in office. Shit's gonna change around here. Yeah, quick, fast and in a hurry. First is. of all, we're knocking the first three numbers off every phone number. Like, we just don't <laughs> need. <Man. laughs> You dial those seven digits, 
And who knows who you're going to get? Like so, the person you're. I can't wait until so we. So we're make... sharing numbers. <laughs> yeah. A bunch of us with the yeah. same. You don't okay. know who you're going to get. It's whoever whoever picks up first, that's who you're going to get. Until we make what is it, Gatorade? The uh, all in the name of saving drink? your fingers or just saying vocally the extra three numbers. So. It's so dumb. <laughs> it's so dumb. Anyway. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and wrap it up, have a production meeting right quick, and uh, we'll be back, folks. Looking Thanks loser. for showing up. Hey, I just want to say, sorry, Greg. We let you down. I don't want to have sex with your wife, <laughs> a.k.a. Mike's sister, because she probably looks <laughs> no. just like Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Good morning. All right. See All you, right, guys. You turn my volume up just I don't have any either. I couldn't find any good ones. This guy's kidding me. It's so unprofessional. You know what's unprofessional, Al? What? The way you treat those women at work. <laughs> you know what was the greatest uh, effect that we've ever had on the show? Is when I was pounding on this table, it made it look like the crowd was going wild on your camera shot on that one. Yeah, when I was like, I'll show you my business. Yeah, don't making that camera go? Don't, don't hit the camera. Don't hit the camera. You want me to start it? <clears throat> you, do you want me to start it? Say that a little more breathy. Do you, do you want me to start it? <laughs> How's this? Go get some toilet paper. Have a pillow. There, can you see? Can you hear me now? Oh. <laughs> Good lord. Great, you fucked it all you up. I think you should interview like this the whole podcast. <laughs> hey, everybody. Remember that That's time? Okay. Man, yeah, that was that great. That was great. Stop oh. interrupting me. Stop interrupting me. Fucking stop go. interrupting me. I gotta go. <laughs> Is that how I sound? Hey, who's, uh, who's bringing us in? It's an echo. Five, four, three, two, one.